Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Rad Kutarot, and uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Aquarius Sun Moon and also Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading February 7th up until uh, February 13th, 2022. And uh, should you uh, want to wish to skip that draw for your star sign and move right away to the uh, reading itself, you can do that by using the timestamps in the description down below. Uh, other than this, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, guys, and you do wish uh, to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss uh, our weekly uploads as well as our uh, weekly live streams. And with that said, let's uh, move right away to the uh, to the reading or to the draw. Uh, the first card that you do have, uh, Aquarius, uh, that is going to be the Wheel of uh, Fortune. Followed by the second one here, which uh, stands as the Three of uh, Swords. The third card that is going to be uh, the Ace of Wands. The fourth card of your spread stands as the Fool card. And the final one is going to be uh, the Six of Pentacles. So we do have those five cards. And... Uh, with that being said, this is going to do for the draw. Let's jump right away into the uh, reading itself. All right, so you can see your uh, spread on the screen. What can I say? Except that it seems that you made the lucky draw this week, Aquarius. Uh, because I am not exactly a supporter of such a, a strong word, so to speak, but it's, it really looks like that many of you are going to establish somewhat of a new beginning here and uh, that new beginning is going to be through a very lucky seemingly random circumstances or consequences openings opportunity to make a lifetime change it just is going to be Oh, wow, it's, uh, it's, it's going to flower gas to you, uh, the way that the whole thing is going to play out. Of course, there is going to be, it's, uh, there are going to be their, um, their fair share of, so to speak, unpleasant experiences. But after you go through it, um, I just one thing will lead to another i don't know how to explain it and that new beginning because it's marked by the full card literally could stand for pretty much everything from a new job to a new love life um, i'd say and the, the the beauty of it it is that it has nothing to do with anything from the past that is the beauty of the full card is that if it is a new job it's not going to carry on um anything negative nor as well positive aspects from the past you can do it as good or as bad as you make it so it will depend on your own uh manifestation performance and so on and so forth so you can start clean so to speak uh but all that takes place or rather like the um motor the uh the driving force of it it is the wheel of fortune which manifests for you at the start of the week aquarius and the wheel of fortune if you do open every book you're gonna see great luck you know things speeds up and so on and so forth and yeah it is a great luck um through the wheel of fortune the circumstances although seemingly very very chaotic are aligning in a such a way that you can propel yourself forward into uh, into development and into advancement now on a more practical level with this card you can expect things to speed up for your business big time or for your love life big time as well and it is just you're going to have many many chances at the start of the week to make things work for you but out of these out of these many many chances one of them is going to stand out significantly and uh, because we do have the three of swords um as a follow-up i don't think that you are going to jump into it right away for two reasons one of the two reasons now the first reason it is that there are going to be people around you which are going to be very unpleased for the chance you have and probably that they don't have the same chance as you do and uh you are truly going to see and feel the poison in their mouth 
Uh, that is because in that particular case, the Three of Swords is considered as a mental cruelty. You being insulted, being uh, smothered beneath tall, for example, being constantly told that you are not fit for that, that you can't handle it, you will fail, and so on and so forth. And that is repeated to such an extent that at the end of the day, it kind of plants a thoughts of doubt in your mind. Uh, those thoughts of uh, doubts, although they will be planted, you have to do whatever you can to not dwell into them. Now, if you do start dwelling into negative thoughts with the Three of Swords, it's very likely that you're going to find yourself lost very very quickly unable or incapable of uh, making a move taking an advance of uh, the wheel of fortune opportunity another mental cruelty could be that uh, you will be tried or tried to be convinced that the opportunity in front of you is not as good as it seems in fact it's gonna ruin you okay that's also a how the negative thoughts would be planted the other way how the three of swords could manifest for you it is through your own personal poignant and bitter experience where you had a similar situation back in the days and you failed big time and you went in and you had been left devastated so that is more applicable i mean i think that the uh, latter is going to manifest rather than the former however the former is also possible in any case um it's uh, it's kind of understandable that you would that you will not gonna want the history to repeat itself one more time. But again, uh, you should not dwell into these thoughts because back in the days you were a different person. Now you do have the necessary experience. You do have the necessary means as well. So uh, that what my point is is that your bitter experience should not deprive you of trying. And once you pass through that negative aspect of the week here with uh, the uh, three of swords uh the ace of uh, wands manifests and that is your look or rather like sight upon the uh the opportunity that the wheel of fortune of fortune presents you with and that and and only thing you will see is how gaining for that opportunity is and not just only how gaining for it is but all the things that can offer to you all the new things that can offer to you additionally to it with the eight of uh, with the ace of uh, wands you can expect to come up as well with certain resolutions to issues at career at work or to issues uh into your love life as well uh they are going to be quite brilliant for the lack of a better word because it's just you, you even you did not thought that you can come out come up with uh, with such a resolution but alas there it is okay and uh in generally also uh, with the ace of wands there could be somewhat of a chaotic behavior from your behalf not being able to focus on what thing at the time but a good thing about this card it is that this chaos is rather creative and although you may not going to be able to focus on what thing at the time still you will be able to do a really good job with your work and, and in generally with the task that's the tasks which are bestowed upon yourself finally with the ace of wands you are also going to see that this new beginning of yours that's gaining for enterprise that's awesome opportunity which by the way like i said before it's uh capable to make a once in a lifetime change in your life also will allow you to expand on well, let's say it that way talent that beforehand you never used you you had it as a gift but you never used it because you didn't need it by that point and once you see the prospects once you do see how gaining for that thing is the full card manifests which is from the mid towards the end of the week and the full is not exactly a new beginning it is the moment before the new beginning takes place the magician actually has a number one it is the initial steps into it uh the fool it's uh how can i put it into words it's it's the card showing how pure and and how genuine you are going to be towards that 
opening towards that new beginning so to speak and uh, that state of yours is going to magnetize the situation to such an extent people are going to be happy for you aside from those that try to convince you that you are no good for it okay and that you ain't going to be able to handle it but they're no longer in the picture also, once you uh, your your focus is going to be only toward the future, and, and it's kind of like you you will you are gonna be able to feel how well things are gonna go, and that way your life will become a muse. The muse will become an art, and the art will become your life. It's just I don't know how to explain it in another way. You are going to be so detached from every misery that the that the life can offer you are going to be so un uh not unpredictable but how can i put it into words spontaneous with people around with um with your colleagues as well and uh the creative chaos kind of continues and on, on, on a practical level the full card could be the job offer you 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 hope to have um or the person that you are going to start interacting with now on a intimate level you should there be a person for you to interact with you need to know that the fool does not carry on obligations and therefore you should not have any expectations not nor you should make any ultimatums whatsoever at that stage just just carry on with the flow you are to see that things are going to work out for both of you very very well especially as we do have the six of pentacles here at the end okay because the six of pentacles in that point speaks that um can i put it into words uh the whole thing takes on a shape and the whole thing state takes on a structure it becomes very not predictable but foreseeable so to speak so the there will be no surprises there will be no um unpleasant come-ups so to speak and uh, my point here is that after you do see the goal and you focus yourself on the future with the six of pentacles at the end of the week you will also going to have an idea how that future is going to take place how that future is going to happen okay and uh, as well with that card especially when it comes to interactions friendships and relationships uh, you can expect things to become more devout devoted to one another in a sense of that just there are going to be a mutual use i don't know how to explain it it's not like you cannot live without one another but there will be uh, you will have use not use but some reason to be around them while they will have some reason to be around you as well it just is going to be a symbiotic uh existence coexistence at that particular uh, at that particular moment and uh, that's why you are i consider you here as the lucky draw of uh, of the week aquarius because especially if you're not in a good place whatsoever the will of fortune is going to offer you the exit you so much need through very seemingly random circumstances and all you gotta do guys is just not give up to your bitter experience nor to what people tells you see how gaining full that exit is take it purely with uh with no premeditation uh consider it genuine and just strive forward towards your growth so with that being said aquarius uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time i hope until then, bye.